Headed into their first meeting of the year, the SDSU men's basketball team had won its last four over rival USD, including sweeping the series last season. The Jackson Coyotes squared off down in Vermillion today. First half, Jacks grabbed the lead as David Wingett dumps off to Noah Friedel, and the former T area Titan tickles the twine for three of his eight points. And Jacks lead 20 to 19. Later, Coyotes up by two, and Ty Chisholm drives in and spots Tyler Hagedorn. He'll splash in the triple from the top of the key, giving the Coyotes the 32-27 lead. Then later in the first half, more Coyotes and more Hagedorn as he uses the screen and blows by his defender for the easy left-handed layup. USD closed the half on a 26-11 run and led by 14 at the break. Second half, Jackrab is trying to cut into the USD lead. David Wingett drives. He can't finish, but Matt Dentlinger is there to lay in two of his game high and career high 26, trimming the lead to 11. Later in the half, Friedel loses the ball, and Tristan Simpson comes away with the steal. He'll then pull up from 15 feet and connect for two of his 21 points. Coyotes up 71-57. On the Jack Rabbit's ensuing possession, they'll use some good ball movement to find Alex Arians, who buries one of State's 13 three-pointers. Arians finish with 16. Yotes up 11 late in the game. Yotes by 13. Hagedorn taking advantage of the mismatch as he rises up and buries the turnaround jumper for two of his team-high 24. And USD snaps its four-game losing streak against its rivals with a 99-84 victory over South Dakota State. We had, we had uh, balance scoring, and I thought our bench came in and did a good job. We were plus when they were in the game. I know they only scored 12 points, but that's 12 points more than we've been getting. And we do need some production off the bench. So uh, total team win. Uh, Hags gets to 1,000 points. Uh, certainly offensively re really uh, <laughs> high level game on both ends. But uh, on the other end, unfortunately, it's, it's two sides of the basketball. And we certainly weren't very good on the defensive end tonight. Like I told our guys in the locker room, maybe it was partly what we were doing, and I'll take some of that. And then uh, we, we got to also maybe value a defensive stop a little bit more.